Hello and welcome everyone. So this video covers looking initially at the Microsoft 365 architecture for Teams and SharePoint, understanding how this works and how they both integrate together. We will then create a SharePoint site using Microsoft Teams, checking out the various templates available and then sync in the SharePoint site document stores to OneDrive. So first of all, let's take a look at the architecture around Teams and SharePoint to understand how they integrate together to give us that collaboration. So we have Teams. This is a front end to all the other Office 365 services. With Teams, we can communicate using channels uh, in our company or organization to people in real time over instant message, voice, shared files. We can upload documents. We can get instant notifications and really streamline all those tasks in one place. Teams relates to SharePoint as when a Teams channel is created in the front end, on the back end within SharePoint, a website is also created that shares the team channel documents. So each team's channel is associated with a SharePoint documentation library. All this happens seamlessly using single sign-on, logging into our Microsoft 365 tenant, using our Active Directory credentials. And these channel documents can then sync to OneDrive on our devices, giving us the ability to easily get instant access to these files and folders to create and modify our content. We can also modify Teams and add in the SharePoint site that's been created for each team channel. So now we understand the high level architecture. Now let's look into how the collaboration works by creating our Teams channels and see our file stores in SharePoint when we do this. We will also look into templates for our SharePoint sites and the various web part plugins available to us and sync in our document store to OneDrive. And then finally, we will add in the SharePoint site to Teams that's been created for each Teams channel. So before we get started, please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications on up and coming videos so there'll be lots of great up-to-date content using real-world scenarios being delivered free to you on various cloud and, and Microsoft 365 topics. So please help in subscribing. It's really, really appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so let's start by going to office.com and logging in with our credentials to Office 365. So once logged in, let's click Teams, either from the menu or the toolbar. Okay, so after this point, we will create a new Teams channel uh, for our team members. We will choose Create a Team from Scratch and select Public so anyone can join. We will give the team a name, so in this case, it's going to be Team Collaboration. Once a team is created, we can add more owners, members and guests by clicking on the team and managing the team. So that's a Teams channel created. So let's look in the next section how both the Teams channel and SharePoint collaborate and interact together. OK, so let's take a look at how each Teams channel is associated with a SharePoint documentation library. Within our team we just created, we can click the ellipsis in the top right and open up in SharePoint. Here we can see a SharePoint site has been created for this Teams channel, Team Collaboration. So under documents, we have a general folder, which is currently empty. When we go back to Teams and look at the Teams channel, we can click files and we can also see this location. Now let's upload some files and folders to this document area. So these files are now uploaded to Teams. So when we switch over to the SharePoint site and we click refresh, we can also see the same set of files and folders. So SharePoint is acting as a back end, holding all our documents for our Teams channel. Let's now apply a template to our SharePoint site to make it look more professional and interactive. So if we go to settings and apply a site template, here we choose a team collaboration template, which adds in recent team activity where we can share team news, etc. So if we are wanting a more greater template selection, a good place to visit is lookbook.microsoft.com. So let's go over there and take a look at the examples on offer. So we have a better range here to add to our tenant and building stunning sites quickly and easily from templates. So let's go to the team selection and add a new template to our tenant. So you need to read and consent to the permissions to allow access. 
So check the site title and URLs are good before provisioning. We are also sent an email confirming the site is now ready. And as you can see, the template has produced a fully functional site within SharePoint. In this section, we'll quickly show how to modify uh, the site that we created. We can change the theme look by selecting different colors and we can upload um, also our site logos. We can edit the site and we can change each web part as required. Also, we can add a new web part and choose from a wider selection on offer. I'm not going to go into massive detail how to edit the site in this video. However, I do have another video in the description which builds a SharePoint site from scratch in 10 minutes using different web parts and components. So if you're interested in that, there's a link to the video within the description. So now we have created this site from a Microsoft Lookbooks template from the previous section. So this site was created in SharePoint. So how do we now link this SharePoint site to our Teams channel? First, we must choose Connect to new Microsoft 365 group from Settings. And then confirm the group name, email address and privacy settings. We can now add and modify more group members as required and change our site's public and privacy settings from the site information if needed. So we will now go back into Teams and create a new team from a group or team and we will select a Microsoft 365 group and our communication site we just added. And then click Create. So we have now linked both our Teams channel and the SharePoint site together. So one thing to notice with our template files is that by default, Teams looks in the general folder where we don't have any files, okay? So we need to come down a level to show our files within the documents directory. So we will now synchronize files in SharePoint to OneDrive. So first of all, we are logged into uh, OneDrive on our local device using the required account. On the local device, we can see our OneDrive contents for our personal use. Now, when we sync from SharePoint using the sync button, we can see on the local device, we get a new default directory created. And under that is our SharePoint team collaboration general folder. Here we can now see all our synced files in our OneDrive account. So we can amend and modify as required from the convenience of our device. So we can sync our other SharePoint communication sites exactly the same. As you can see, this puts in the other folder listing under the same location. We can also just add a shortcut. So for instance, I could choose press release folder to add a shortcut to OneDrive. Please note that this shortcut cannot sync at this point. So this is because we've already synced the whole general directory. So we need to unsync the conflicting folder before we can add the press release folder shortcut to OneDrive. So let's do that now from the OneDrive client. Once we have removed the conflict, the press release folder is added as a shortcut to our personal OneDrive space. It's also worth noting that from the OneDrive client, we can also select which folders are synced and added, removed as appropriate. So we can now add our SharePoint sites we created uh, into Teams. Let's copy the SharePoint URLs and then add into Teams channel as a website. So click the plus sign within the channel, add a tab page appears and select a website. So we give it a tab name which corresponds to our website and then we paste the SharePoint site URL. Leave post to the channel about this site ticked so members of the channel get notified. Click Save. 
Now we see a Teams collaboration tab within our Teams channel showing the SharePoint site for quick access. And now we can do the same with our other communications SharePoint sites. OK, thank you for watching. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to enable us to create more useful free content for you. It's really appreciated. So please help in subscribing to so see you all soon. And until next time, many thanks.